So we are now at the police premises and you are arrested for committing a criminal act of terrorism according Article 97 of Croatian Criminal Code and at attempt of murder of police officer from Article 110 of Croatian Criminal Code. As a arrested person, Jalo, you have a rights, so I'm going to inform you about your rights. First of all, you have a right to lawyer. Your lawyer is here. You have a right on silence and not to talk to me, not to tell me anything, but my advice is to tell me everything you know. You also have a right uh, for phone call to inform uh, your relative or any other person about your arrest. And you have a right for interpreter if you don't understand me. Do you understand your rights? Okay, yes. If you understand your rights, you can start with this, with this interrogation. So, do you understand Jal why you are here? Yes. Do you understand that we know who you are and why you are here? Okay. We know that you are here to commit a crime of terrorism and attempt of murder of a police officer. But this is not a game, Joel. This is very serious. This is a very serious situation. And we can help you, Joel. We can help you. I can help you if you tell me the truth. Everything was happened there. How you will help me? How you will help me? All you want to do is put me in the rest, in the jail. All you want to do is put me in the jail for the rest of my life. How you ca you cannot help me. I have I have done terrible thing and uh, and uh, things I I never want to do. You cannot help me. No one can help me. No one. Yes, I can, Jola. How? Actually, actually, I can't help you. I can't help you. I can't help you by by explaining to judge that you help us in investigation by telling the truth. You know. Uh, I cannot say that you are not going to, to receive a sentence in a jail for things you, for crimes you made, but judge will be, you know, more understanding if I tell him that you help us by telling the truth. Uh, maybe after this, maybe after this you, you can move further in your life. You can maybe you can find some peace, you know, for you. But but you must talk to me. You must tell me the truth. Everything you know. What do you want to know? What about Ibrahim? He was scary. That guy is crazy. Total crazy. Abdullah just does whatever he, 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 he says. Look, if they know that I speak to you, I am... They will kill me. Joe, but you are now away from them. You may never see them till the, till the rest of your life, you know. I can see you're scared. This is maybe even more reason to tell me the truth. I can make sure that you will never be near them again till the end of your life. It's okay, Joe. It's all over now. Please, you must tell me what happened. We came here to buy a gun. Ibrahim wanted to do it so we could attack a police conference. We read about it on the internet. No one knows 
anyone so we use the internet to you know a chat room place for for people people that like gun guns well we met a man on the chat room who told us to use the dark website to connect with him and uh, we may connect and uh, we want three AK-47 he said he could do this and we also to, uh, told him that we want three hand grenades and uh, bullets uh, bullets for AK he said he, he, he could do this as well and he wants about 10,000 euro for that and then we met at the hotel Dubrovnik Palace and then that man said that he has only one AK old one from the war and the three pistol no grenades and no bullets only 30 bullets for AK and uh, and he still want for that 10,000 euro and uh, Ibrahim was furious he was he went crazy were you in the store as well Joe no 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 I was I was dri I was driving the car and but the, but the window was open and uh, we parked really really close to, to his car. Uh, I could hear every I, I could uh, hear everything and uh, and uh, and see everything. Ibrahim killed that that kid. And uh, after that, we we panicked and uh, and uh, we don't know what to do. And Ibrahim and Abdullah. Scream, drive, drive, and uh, I just drove. And Ibrahim was so angry, and uh, he just kept saying that the guy was lying. Lying. Okay, Jack, keep calm. Do you want some glass of water or cigarette, maybe? Cigarette. Okay. city and uh, we didn't want to take a hotel or, 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 or anything because it was too dangerous so we were sleeping on the hills near the border then we got back there <laughs> Ibrahim realized that he, he dropped one of of these pistols. We only have two pistols. And uh, he was more angry and uh, all we had is two pistols and uh, but Ibrahim and the, 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 they won't they, 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 they say he was crazy and he do he wanted to, to go on with with that plan. Okay, and then what happens next? We stayed in the one old house, ruined house, and it was uh, very foggy. So, so, so we find, we try to to find a place better place and something something to water and something to eat but I didn't want to hurt anyone but I just start 
I just don't want to go go away. I just want to do. I didn't want to, to hurt anyone. I'm so sorry because I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tell me, how did you get into the hotel? We come to the staff entrance. When we got there, we saw some sweets with budgets like staff uniform and we took them and used the security keys we find that in the packet so so we get through the door and uh, someone somehow find us I don't know how we try to get away but there was too many police, so... People... Okay. We uh, feel... It was so stupid. It was so stupid plan. So stupid. We, we don't know what 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 we, what we try to do. We just it was so stupid. <sighs> okay, John. Do you have anything else to it? No, lawyer. Do you have anything? Else?